Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at Winnebago's top of the line Class A gas motorhome. Also, this is the smallest motorhome in the industry that gives you the double slide outs in the living room that has the 22.5 inch tires. This is the 2020 Winnebago Adventure model 33C. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV reviews it's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I'm super excited to be taking a look at this 2020 Winnebago Adventure 33C but before I begin I would like to say hi to Andrea hi everyone hey Andrea how's it going it's going good why are we starting on this side today the shade yeah it's like super sunny on that or you know yes. we're just at like a really bad angle I'm really excited, thanks for being here. And let's just get started. Model is 33C and the actual tip to tip length is 34 feet long. This is the Winnebago Adventure. It's their high end motorhome, and I absolutely love the front grille. It's kind of like the star action going on. It's very nice. Something that's real great about Winnebago is uh, they use steel, uh, steel cage construction for their front area for driver protection and safety. I like that windshield, Matt. Yep, nice big windshield, and, and they put it in automotive grade, so it's real nice. Full body paint is standard in this motorhome. Again, it's their top of the line motorhome. We have chrome mirrors right here. They have cameras right here, left, right, blinker in reverse, and a doggy window right there. Right here, look, Andre, they got the Alcoa rims. I love that. Nice big tires. They're 235-80R22.5. They're the Michelin tires. <laughs> Michelin. Cool. Now coming down here, nice. we do have these compartments. A little pet peeve of mine is that Winnebago on their top of the line gas motorhomes, they still use these fiberglass doors. I really wish they used the aluminum doors for this unit at this price point. There you go. Nice. But you can still tell the way they construct it, even though it's a fiberglass door, it's still built very well. Right there's a pet pal for you, a great place for you to lease up your dog. Here's a picture of Yuna right here. Ding! And, oh, for those of you who don't know, that's our dog, Yuna. <laughs> and right here, you do have a propane quick connect. Coming down the side here, oh, you have a nice big television on the outside. Nice power awning with LED lights. One of the problems with this motorhome, uh, with how great it is on the inside, you do have this slide out which will be taken away from your awning space. But there's pros and cons. Right over there, you got a little bit more storage. Right here, we have a six gallon DSI water heater. And we will have all the specifications about this motorhome. Tank sizes, lengths, widths, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody who is watching on television. And then right there, we got a little bit more storage. Storage is great on here. Oh yeah. Coming around the back, we have a 5,000 pound hitch. This is that weird bumper that I'm not a huge fan of. And I'm sorry about the noise. We do have a generator on because what we're discovering is it's 100 degrees every day here out in Florida yes. <laughs> in the middle of summer. Who would have known? I didn't know. Uh, and then right up there, we have a backup camera. Also, <coughs> we have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Hold on, Matt. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. You have not one, but two air conditioning units. 50 amp motor home. Max air fans already installed. Right there's your King Air digital antenna, and I love this. You already have a 100 watt solar panel for the roof installed. One. Here we go now. Careful, 
little mat when you come to the bottom. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What an RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. That more Finishing up, oh. we got the Cummins Onan 5500 gasoline generator. Here is, here's your fuel fill up, 80 gallon fuel capacity. Right there's your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Oh. And then look at this, this is clean, beautiful, and nice. I like it. Yep. Water purifying system. Yep, you got awesome. your power cords, everything. Wet bay right there, very nice. Oh. I love how they continued with the paint over this, the your refrigerator Looks service good. area thing. Oh, okay. that's nice. Look at that. I love that. So many times manufacturers, they'll leave this to like right here and then you gotta like kind of like maneuver it like this. This, you get it up, you get it in, Looks you hook good. it up. Yeah, it does look really good. More storage. And more storage. Oh, sorry. On the other side. Very nice. And then right here will be your propane. Propane tank. Little fun fact, Andrea, you know how I knew it was propane? How? Because there's no locks on it. Ah. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, Ford V10 engine, because it's still a 2020. Andrea, yes. I have it all cooled off for Thank you. Thank you. Like the handle. All right, guys, slides are in. Wow, it's a little bit interesting because it's midway, yeah. the door. Yeah. And as you can see, you can see the walkway and I'm going to the bathroom right now to look. And still can ex, oh, look, the bed. Oh, you can still use it with the slides in. Oh yeah. I love that. All and right. Look, I love this. Sounds stupid, but I love how there's three buttons, not that digital screen. So I can literally look at that as it goes out. Oh, you can do them all. Yep. Wow. Now while the slide outs are coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everybody. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our video to. And Andrea. Yes. We just passed Camping World. Yeah. And we're at like 51,000-ish subscribers. So we appreciate Thanks, guys. world dominant world domination in the <laughs> RV reviews. And our goal is now 100,000. We can do it only with your it. help. Only with your guys' help. Make sure you guys spread the word if you, you like the awesome. show. Those are awesome. Wow, hey, Matt. I like Even this. if you don't like the show, Leave a negative comment below because it still helps. Well, it still helps. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, at this point, we're going to take any help we can get. <laughs> cool. So let's get started. Uh, up front in the captain's seat. Again, this is the V10 engine, traditional chassis. In a big way, you can tell us with the steering wheel. Um, you got your auto leveling right here. You know, your dash is everything. And everything's in a good area. And you got a nice camera there. Andre, you want to move that box and sit in my co-captain seat? Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I like this, Matt. Yeah, very nice. Look. Got a little table tray right there. Got a cup holder, and you know what? Uh -huh. I got a place for my puppy, you know? Oh, we're in there. My yep. baby cup holder here. Very nice, guys. Look at this, MCD shades. Yep. That's and, awesome. Yep, for privacy. And both seats do swivel around to become part of the living area. And they're actually this. pretty comfortable, you guys. And yep. you also have a pedestal table that would go there in and, the middle. And what's really weird is, uh, you guys won't see me swivel chairs around because it's always a pain in the butt. It's always like a 10 step step, 10 step setup, right? Where with Winnebago, I don't know why. Wow. It just turns around like, I feel like Winnebago positions their seats different 
or whatever, it just makes it so it's very easy to turn around. And it adds so much to the living room. Well, especially with this type of living room, I really like the double slide outs in here. It makes it cozy. We do have a bunk over the cab. Let me see if I can get that down. Oh, oh wow, yeah. that's really fast. Look at that. Very nice. Yep. And you notice, let's see. I mean, and, and then check this out, Got right? The... Okay, well, I mean, yeah, no, that's still, yeah, yeah I wouldn't like. do that. I mean, you could, right? But. I like the cubbies up there. Yep. Got LED, you got lights back there, speakers. Very nice. Yeah, very nice going from the cab. It comes down fast, and I believe that holds 500 pounds, Andrea. We'll say you. Uh, I don't see the sticker, but I would say 500 myself. Yeah, but it might be 350, who knows? I gotta say, I really am liking this layout a lot. Yeah, it's a great layout. Um, So over here in the living area, we have a nice tri-fold sofa. Should we show it? Let's show it. We should it. show it, you know why? Because we got the AC on and I'm not sweating. So we're gonna show it for y'all. And what's great about all this furniture and stuff with a Winnebago, so, Winnebago, they're not my style, right? And I don't say that in a negative way, like like the decor and the cabinetry is not my style. But what I do love about the Winnebago is 70% of a Winnebago is designed and made by Winnebago. So this furniture, these cabinetries, most of the stuff you, is here is actually made by Winnebago. And so if you do ever scratch or damage your sofa or whatever and you need a replacement, you call Winnebago and they're not used, they're not at the mercy of a third party. They actually make this stuff. That's awesome. Yep. So you do have that. Which is very comfortable for your non-paying guests. Yep. As you, you can see the seatbelts. Seat belts. Yep. Very nice. And the cabinetry is very nice too. Well, you can tell it's definitely great quality. Hidden hinge cabinetry. Something about like Winnebago, like, look, I mean, look at that. I know. And you know what I like about it is the slide is not painted. Look, look, look. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not stapled together. It's actually mounted really good. But here's what I'm not a huge fan of. They're kind of doing this DIY look again. This basic and bland. Well, I'm a fan of it. Well, yeah, but... And I'm a fan of it, too, in, like, the intent and the outlook. But with this being the adventurer... I, you know, I don't know. Well, check out, look, they give you a little kind of end table there. That's nice. Yep. Look at that. For storage, you got a little closet. You can hang stuff. Underneath, you got cabinetry. Wow. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. And then across. I love I this. I love this because, you know, very rarely are you getting table and chairs anymore. We got a televator. Yep. Look at that televator. And this is for the, the, the customers that don't like the dinettes. Right, well a lot of people don't, you know, and so it's nice how you can get the table and chairs. I love, that's very cute, that little light fixture there. Is that light fixture Art Deco? No. Oh, okay. I like the cabinets, very cute, the frosted look. Yep. And you got electrical outlet there, USB, and, and I like the on this side you got and another cabinet. And then look at this, I mean this is a benefit to the table and chair. You can be as bad as you want to be, right, and still, you know. And you, you can, can use that for a workstation. Right. Hey, Matt, let's see. There's there's more storage over here. Wow. Oh, yeah, of course. That's great. Yep. And then you got one under here as well, under the table. This way. Wow. I'm telling you, I'm loving this. And on the other side, we have another drawer. Plenty of storage, guys. Yep. This is really nice. And the table and chairs is just nice. And it saves so much room instead of that big, big old dinette. But, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome is $189,982 MSRP. Currently, we have it discounted 25% off MSRP to 142485 I mean, that's a great sale price. But, no, it's not. That's not a great sale price. Andrea, yes. I can get everybody in America a better sale price than that. Absolutely. Tell them how to do it. 
You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! And we only have a couple more jump stickers left. I think we're down to like our final 15 or 20. So make sure you uh, grab it. Also, if you missed out on Andrea's sticker, bing, we kind of have a combo pack going on. Um, Andrea, let's continue the video. All right, well, here we go with the kitchen, guys. Yep, you gotta Very move my nice. laptop. Let me move Matt's laptop. Okay. I'm having, hey Andrea, I'm having a meeting in here today. Okay. Because it just feels like at home. It does. Great, look at these cabinets. It's a Very digital nice. meeting. Like yep. it. I love the slide. Uh-huh. Got another cabinet here. This is interesting. Interesting. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, nobody does that. No. That, that's very weird. I like the double sink. Yeah. I like that you have these cutting boards here. Nice extension. Oh, oh, Shirley. I'm sorry. Nice. And then guys, check this out. Oh, I love it. Even though you have some counter space here, you have extra. Yep. Which is great. Always. Underneath, we have storage for your trash can. Uh-huh. We have three nice drawers. Oh, one, one, two, three. That's three drawers, Andrea. Thank you, Matt. Up here we have, what is this? Yeah, yeah convection, convection microwave. Yep. Very nice. Okay, so they give you the option of having a one induction burner uh -huh. and then one regular propane burner. Yep, two's better than one. So, interesting, no backsplash, no big deal. But hey, loving the solid surface countertop. Very nice. Yep, very nice. Got more drawers. Nice big drawers. And then a nice big one down here. Yep, now here's what I'm a fan of. That refrigerator. Yes, because it, it, it still runs off propane and electric. and electric, but it gives you a, a, the size of a residential. Andrea, you yes. literally took the words out of my yes. mouth. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I love the residential fridges, but a lot of times when manufacturers want to put this fridge in, they give you the small one, so yes. at least they still give you the big size. You no, know, I'm not a big fan of the wood look. It's not a secret, but you know, I would be happy with having a fridge that runs off propane and shore power. Yeah. Oh! Holy smokes! Oh, it's beautiful! I didn't even know it had it in here. Wow! Andrea, I swear to God, I thought it. <laughs> that's weird. I didn't even know. Okay, well that well that explains. Let's the Let's show these. Real quick for the bed, the solar hey, what, charger. Stackable washer dryer. I know. I, most of the time, it's only option for it. That's awesome. Yep. Two AC units, very nice. Cool. All right. Time for the bathroom. Oh my goodness, that's interesting shower. Well, let's see how big it is. Okay, so it's like a well, door. It works. Yep, it works. Oh wow, actually, yeah. It better than works. Yeah, it's pretty good size. Pretty good size shower. You know, I like it. Don't want me in here. <laughs> I like it. I re you know, it's it's interesting because the door opens and most of the time they slide. So I yeah, do like that. That is interesting. You know, Matt, that that's excellent counter space on here. Beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful. The medicine cabinet. Yep, yep. That goes back there pretty far. Cabinet over the toilet the toilet. Uh -huh. All right, let me jump in here so I can get you from the Oh, interesting place for a toilet paper holder. That's a good place for it. All right, let's it's now see. Now time for the toilet test. It's on a pedestal. Yeah, porcelain. Um, it's a little too tall. I mean, I can make it work, but it's it's kind of weird. I, I think honestly, <laughs> I think I'd need a squatty potty to <laughs> properly poop. Uh, I can't give it a prime pooping position, and it's a little tight here. Okay. But you know, if you're tall or if you're five five, five six, five seven, you you'll have no problem. Cool. Great. Pocket door on the bedroom right here. Yep. I love, look how big that entryway is right here I for the bedroom. It. You have a little thingy here. Right. Nice. Okay. Got a window with day and nighttime shades. Got the okay, TV. TV. Then look at this. This might be smart. Uh, this might be for like a DVD player if you set it up here and it runs to the TV. Nice. I like that. I like how, you know, again, I love the DIY look. Here's your wardrobe. Open that up. Double wardrobe right there, and you have six drawers. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. Then over here you have a nice king size bed. Very nice. No, no end tables. You kind of have like something weird going on here. Um, it's just different. It is different. Uh, I like that they give you the windows on both sides for a cross breeze. Yep. It is very plain looking in here. Yep. But plain I Jane. I see why they're doing that. Oh There's snap. No 
And they're giving you daytime shades and privacy shades. I said shades. that. <laughs> right, no, I didn't know it had the daytime shades. But you too. know what? There's no Art Deco in here. There's no Art Deco. Huh. But, I mean, that's it. That's the review, everybody. Before everyone leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay. Well, first, you pointed out something that yeah, we missed. Yeah, I just forgot to get these cabinets over here. Well, oh, that's the, your fuse yep. box and stuff. And then above, there is kind of a... What is this up here, Matt? Let's see. It's a, uh, a thing splitter thing. Oh, okay, for, for your satellite. satellite. Okay. Yeah. Nice Winnebago touch here. Yep. Oh, and then finally, this is cool. Yes, that's a big deal. Okay, sorry. What are we doing? Three things we like about it? Dislike. Or? Dislike. Okay. I'm going to go first, and this is going to be confrontational. I do like the DIY look. I don't like it in this brand. Okay. I love it in the intent. I feel like I feel like it's cheap, right? Like, because it's DIY, do it yourself. Um, and I'm fine with it in the intent and the outlook to save money. I don't like it in this price point of a unit. That's just me. I get what you're saying. So that's one. Because it's higher end, you feel like it should be Correct. more decor. Yep, exactly. Uh, okay, so I, I, no secret here, I really don't like this. Uh, this is a big dislike for me. I mean, wood I know, fridge. I know the wood doesn't look bad, but I just would rather have the stainless steel look. Right, and yeah. what I would say, a kind of again, touching on the price point, at this price range, a nice residential fridge. We've got a nice fan up there, guys. Um, did we ever figure out the cargo carrying capacity? Uh, here. Let me check the door. It wasn't on the door. It wasn't? No. Here it is. <whistles> cargo carrying capacity, 4,146 wow. pounds. Wow. That's a lot. Um, yeah, so they definitely should have put the residential refrigerator in. So that's two. Oh, and I know number three. I got it. Ooh, back out here in the hot. Again, it, the doors. it all has to do with price. At yes. this price point, I'd much rather have aluminum slam latch doors. I agree. Like the Winnebago fours are right here. I agree. You know? Yes. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andrea, yes? Yes. You know what? I'm out here. I absolutely love the body paint on here. Really? Yes. Because it's the straight line look. It's more of like a conservative look. Yes, I love it. So you're saying you don't like the swoop de dupes and the uh, hoop de loops and everything? I do, but I just think it looks, it looks different. It looks sophisticated. Yes, it's sharp. Perfect. Like it. So that's one. Two is also good. I know what you're going to gonna say. Um, yes. I mean, it's this. Uh, just absolutely. This wet, I mean, it's so clean, organized. I love the dump station right over there. Yes. Just everything about the that, the placement and everything, just seems really good. And then three. Are you gonna do it? I got three. I wanna do it. No, I want to. Alright. Okay. I think we're gonna be on the same page here. I'm going to say how much I love the layout. Dang oh, nabbit, Andre. You were gonna go for the washer dryer. No, no, no. I was gonna literally say the layout. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Well, I do. I love this layout. I love that it gives you the standing table and chairs. The double slide out. Yes. The TV across from yes, the sofa. I like it. Even, uh, uh, look at this, a great social circle for when both seats do um, swivel to become part of the living area. And They're I really like these lights. Oh, look! Got lights under there. Nice. I'm trying to get this one on, but I don't. There you go. It just gives you. It, it feels very homey to me. It yep. really does. I like it. And you know what? Oh my gosh. So yeah, it is kind of like a country home feel. It and, is. And again, I I hate calling out the DIY as like a negative, but again, at this price point, it is a negative for me. But that's it. That's the review. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 is myself or mattsrvreviews.com. Check out the website where you still can get one of the last 15 stickers. Bing! Also, there is a contact me page on our website. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Of course. Hey, everybody.
everyone, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Uh, Winnebago does read the comments and we appreciate everybody's feedback. Also, if you haven't gotten your official Matt and Andrea sticker, bing, make sure you go ahead and get one of those. Yep. Because uh, when they're gone, they're gone, guys. Well, well, well so we, we have them in a combo pack with the jump sticker. Yes. And so we only have 15 left of the jump sticker. Bing. So, you know, that means we only have 15 left of the Matt and Andrea sticker. Yes. And we won't be selling them again until we will sell them again. But only, well, we might sell them again, <laughs> but only if we hit 100,000 yes. subscribers. So until then, they're gone. And if we never hit 100,000, you'll never see them again. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the review. That, what? I want to say to oh. everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. You guys are staying safe. Yep. We love you guys. Thank you. And make sure you share us with your friends. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea. We'll, we'll see you next time. time.